Watercolors are always a good choice when coloring an outline stamp. This tutorial will show you how to create the watercolor effect with a solid stamp. Begin by stamping your solid image in lighter colors. Here I'm using Close to My Heart's exclusive colors, Baby Pink and Sweet Leaf. If the colors of the ink pads you own are more vibrant, you can achieve a lighter color by first stamping on scrap paper, then onto your project. This is called second generation stamping. Because they are water-based, dye ink pads are perfect for watercoloring. With your ink pad closed, squeeze the lid with your thumbs to transfer ink to the lid of the pad. Open the pad and use as a palette for your water brush. Before dipping your paintbrush into the ink color, paint the solid stamped image with just water first to dampen the image and eliminate harsh lines. Then dip the brush into color on the ink pad lid and add the color one shade darker. Here I'm using watermelon ink pad. Keep your shading natural looking by adding the deeper color along one edge and along the lower edge of the image. Blend your color outward, pulling the deeper color into the lighter color. Clean your brush between colors by squeezing water from the brush until it flows freely, then wiping it thoroughly on your scrubber. Apply your second color following the same techniques as in the previous slide, keeping the shading to the edges for a realistic effect. Apply additional coats of color to achieve a deeper shading. To prevent pilling of your paper, avoid overworking your image while it's wet. Allow your watercolored image to dry thoroughly. If desired, you can overstamp words or images after the watercoloring has dried.